So for those who doesn't know you yet, how would you describe yourself and your music? Uh, I would say it's hard to put my type of music into a category. Um, I usually say alternative because that's kind of summing up everything. Um, I've been inspired by a lot of different types of music growing up, um, from classical to metal to R&B and pretty much everything in between. So I would just say alternative, probably. <laughs> and how did you get started in music? So how do you know that you wanted to be in that world? Um, I, I actually started as a dancer, and I thought that that was going to be what I was going to do, and um, I had an injury, and then from that I realized I had a lot of time where I wasn't able to do much of anything else, so I really started working on music more, and then I did my first demo recording when I was 12, and from there it's just been music nonstop every day of my life. <laughs> And you are also multi-instrumentalist, multi and how did you learn to play all those instruments? I actually did them all by ear. Um, I, yeah, I never had a lesson in anything, so I, but what I used to do was lock myself in the basement until I felt like I made progress, and then I would feel, <laughs> feel successful for that day, and then I would do that day after day, and, and then, you know, after a while, I started to notice a little bit of, you know, progress with that, and, and that was how that happened, <laughs> but. <laughs> and you are also a songwriter, so what inspired you to write? Um, actually, when I was very young, I used to write poems about my... My dad had very horrible health problems when I was younger, and he still does. They're chronic, and I would write about that. I would write my feelings about that, and, you know, it was kind of very therapeutic for me at the time. And, um, and then, you know, it just progressed, and then I started writing about other people's problems <laughs> and then before you do it I I started to find my own writing style and and then uh, that's how that came about so every artist has different influences which are yours um oh gosh I like I said I I love heavy metal music that was my dad's favorite type of music so that's what I grew up listening to and then I also loved you know music of um any sort of, well, because I did ballet, I love classical, anything classical. Um, Swan Lake is my absolute favorite. Um, but at the same time, I also like, you know, always liked some sort of popular music along the way. And um, and I, band-wise, I, I love Ronnie James Dio. I love Incubus. Um, I mean, it, it really, the list is endless. I, I love all kinds of music, so it's hard to say. And your first CP is called Stars in My Eyes, mm -hmm. and it contains very different styles. Yeah. So what can you tell us about the different songs? Well, Stars in My Eyes was, I was living in Nashville, Tennessee when I did that re that record, and it was about three or four years ago now. And um, it, at that time, I was going through a lot, you know, musically and personally and, and emotionally, and I thought, you know, it, everything it, when you listen to the record it really is like a roller coaster it's like up and down and all different you know types of things but at that time that's what I was feeling and um you know now I'm in a different place and I'm you know all together so where you know where I've gone musically is different now so um but I did pull you know the, I think the first track was very pop and then there was like a very bluesy song in there and then the very pop rock and then of course the last song Martyr um was acoustic um just piano and, and myself and that's that's a song that's really stuck and I actually um have that on my new album that I'm going to be releasing as well <laughs> same same version of it so as you have said, you have recorded an album called Metal Lullabies. Mm -hmm. oh, what is, what uh, evolution have you experienced through the album from DCP? Oh gosh, well, like I said there too with um, with Martyr, I noticed that, that that song out of all of the different songs that were on the EP, I noticed that you know that was the one that people were really wanting to hear more like that so and that was good for me because that felt the most comfortable as well and that was one that I completely produced on my own and it was actually just meant to be a work tape but I ended up putting it on there um and then I from there I I decided to um I did a couple of videos that I put on YouTube of some heavy metal covers um like Wasp Sleeping in the Fire and Black Sabbath um Too Late and those songs um, actually got a little more traction than I was ever, ex you know, expecting. I didn't have any expectations. Um, but from there, I thought it'd be a good idea to just, you know, put together a collective of six, it's six original songs and six um, acoustic metal co piano covers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, it, it was definitely um, 
it was easy to pick the songs too because I knew exactly which you know it was just I feel like the direction was was a lot easier this time so and the covers how did you choose it oh gosh well um sleeping in the fire is on there um and too late I, I put both of them on there and actually um the versions of those songs are the live recordings that I did when I did the original YouTube videos so um, I didn't go back and change anything they're just <laughs> live um, but then the other ones I have a song by Lacuna Coil, a song by System of a Down, um, a song by Twisted Sister and I'm forgetting one <laughs> I can't remember the last one but anyway uh, they're all songs that I grew up listening to or you know songs that I always really liked so I thought I'd put my own spin on them and see what happens. <laughs> And you have also created Coppelia with Tyler. Mm -hmm. And what can you tell us about that project? Coppelia is, the reason that we started that is because we were realizing that things were getting very heavy um, with my solo project. It was just very emotionally draining to perform every night. <laughs> um, so we wanted something lighter and something fun. So we, um, it's very um, like an alternative R&B. Um, it's very electronic. Um, but at the same time, as is all of our music, it's very dark, at the, <laughs> very, very moody, you know, very, uh, very fun though. And we, we just wanted to experiment and just kind of go from there. And that's how that, how that happened. <laughs> and you'll be part of the Full Metal Cruise. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be part of that? Man, I am so excited. We're leaving in two days and I, I can't. I'm so excited to be part of it. Wacken is putting it on, and, and I'm very, very, very honored to be, you know, among some of... Gosh, Doro is going to be there, and I... Oh, my God, I listened to her when I was two years old. <laughs> so um, it's it's really exciting. I can't, I can't wait. And tonight you are giving your first show in Madrid, yes. and you'll be also in Barcelona, Mallorca, and Tenerife. Mm -hmm. And what can people expect of that shows? Well, we are very excited to have um, our friends from Alien Rock and Show. Um, they're opening for us tonight, and then they're also going to be playing all the shows with us um, as additional musicians. And um, it's we actually just met them two days ago, and it felt like we've known each other forever. <laughs> um, it's really cool how you know we just had that chemistry, and and we're just so excited. We're going to be playing, you know, in addition to original songs, we're also going to be playing a a whole bunch of other cover songs that we all love so hopefully you know the audience will like them too and to know you a little better uh, which is your dream collab my oh my dream collab oh gosh i i would say man that's a tough one i would probably say well he's passed away but ronnie james dio um his voice and his whole gosh i i just i think he's the epitome of a wonderful performer and um that's probably who i would have loved to collaborate with and of all the songs of the music history which song uh wish you had written or sang originally oh that's a good question too oh my goodness oh i would probably say well my, one of my favorite songs of all time is stellar by incubus and i I mean, I just, when I listen to that song, it gives me the same feeling as it did the first time I heard it, and it will never get old to me. <laughs> I could listen to it over and over, so I'd probably say that one off the top of my head. <laughs> and which is your song of the moment? Oh, gosh. Well, I I love, I've been listening to a lot of Banks. Um, I love her whole Goddess album. It's It puts me in a really good place when I listen to it. It's just so chill and so easy to listen to and there again you know my music is so dark and so heavy so it's like sometimes I just need to walk away and just just chill out a little and which is the best advice someone has given to you um gosh I guess something that has stuck with me from a very very early age is that everything happens for a reason and I love that because it's so true and you know everything in my life that has happened and you know ups and downs and things like that I, I just always keep that in the back of my mind because it really is true you know something you think everything's falling apart and then you realize that what you need is right there in front of you so that's probably the best thing that I could say. <laughs> and last one uh, where would you like to be in five years? 
Five years. Oh, I would absolutely love to. Well, I would love to be back in Spain. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Um, but I, I would love to, you know, just be touring and playing shows and, and just, you know, doing our more records and, and just continuing down this path that's been already so unbelievable. And, you know, just still hoping for that label backing. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, that's the whole the whole thing about being an independent artist and that's what I've gathered you know from the beginning of all of it but it's really helped me to learn so much about the business I consider myself a, a veteran I've been doing this for so long so I just you know label or not I'm, I'm still going to be doing the same thing and and I you know I love every second of it hopefully so thank you it's been a pleasure thank you very much thank you